Hello and welcome to the PBFA News for January 2020 and it seems appropriate to start with this book, The Fairy Calendar. I bought this at a PBFA book fair 20 years ago and it was published in 1920 so it's exactly 100 years old and I do love an anniversary. We'll have another look at that later on but first of all I want to show you the PBFA website so that you can get out there and find treasures like that yourself. Well here we are at the PBFA website. When we go down you can see information about where the fairs are and here indeed is our map with the fairs everywhere from Penzance to Aberdeen and everywhere in between. But let's have a look for the moment at the book fair calendar and see what's happening this month. There are two fairs in this month, York and uh, January the 11th and Stratford-on-Avon on the 25th and that's a great little fair and I do hope to be there. But for the first part of the month all eyes are on York. It is in fact the UK's largest one day book fair. There are over 100 booksellers, there's 120 of us now I think, with 40, I think probably closer to 50,000 antiquarian, rare and second-hand books on every subject under the sun. Here are all the details. It's on the 11th of January 2020 from 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. And here is a map and here's some very important information. There's a free bus service running regularly from the Memorial Gardens and that is right by the station. So that's a free bus to the race course. Here are some highlights. We'll come back and have a look at one or two of those in a moment. Here is a huge list of all of the exhibitors. And if you click on one of these at random, let's have a look. We can find out all about the dealer's details, what sort of things they specialise in and their names and addresses. Go back to the main website now. At the bottom of this very comprehensive list of the dealers, there are a few photos of setting up last year. Most important of all, a free ticket which you can download easily by clicking there and finally a floor plan let's have a look here are those dealers and you can see where we're going to be in the room itself so that you can race to the uh, the right stall straight away let's have a look at some highlights though all of these highlights are for sale and you can buy them by getting in touch with the individual dealer as we uh, saw a moment ago this one is a uh, particularly interesting I think female travel very important subject at the moment and that's actually signed by Violet Cressy Marks herself seems very good value at uh, 48 pounds from queer books there are about 10 or 20 pages of highlights here let's have a look at another one or two see what we find on this page here uh, first edition of catch 22 there first edition of animal farm four thousand pounds and here a unique Ah, a unique record of early Victorian cricket in Rochdale, that'll be. Yes, it is. A uh, printed little document there, and I think if it's unique, it's, yes, there's a manuscript. There it is. That's a manuscript poem, the cricket song of Rochdale Cricket Club. Some unique social history. Plenty other highlights that, of course, on the website. When I went to that fair in London 20 years ago, I didn't know I'd find this book. I knew I'd find something good. You never know what you'll find was true then, and it's true now. This book is called The Fairy Calendar, and that's by Bernard Slay and Ivy Ellis, his partner. Let's have a look inside. Bernard Slay was an artist and illustrator. He lived and worked in Birmingham, and he drew these pictures and wrote the poems inside, and they were engraved on wood by his partner, Ivy Ellis. Now, Slay was also something of a mystic, and here he is in the first line saying, I believe in fairies. His uh, most impressive creation, by the way, was a map of fairyland, and I strongly recommend you have a look in, on the internet after this and find that for yourself. Here are the poems for each month of the year, and this lovely woodcut is of the January snow fairies descending from the heavens. A magical book. Well, that's nearly it. We had a look at the website, we had a look at some highlights, and we had a look at the fairy book. Here I am, though, with an empty table in front of me. I'm going to go to York on the 11th of January and I'm going to find 20 wonderful old books, photograph them and show them to you next time. What are they? I don't know. I haven't found them yet. You never know what you'll find at a PBFA book fair. I'm going to find out and so could you if you turn up. I'll see you at York. <music>